Welcome to the Dozen Trivia here on YouTube. Three matches left in our 1v1 Battle Royale. Please subscribe to the channel if you've not already. It would help us out a bunch. And like the video, uh, four people left. Spoilers in three, two, one. Frank the Tank will be taking on Fran. And KB will be taking on Brandon Walker. You're about to see both those matches. Tomorrow we will crown our champion. Then we're off for a week. And then starting October 9th up through June 2024, Trivia every single week. I think maybe not Christmas week, but fuck it, we might still do it. Uh, the plan turn begins on October 9th. Three weeks of four matches each. Uh, every team will play two matches. And then the best teams and the teams you vote in will play in the final week at the end of October. Three teams will win their way into the Dozen Trivia League Season 4. And one will be voted in solely by you, the fans. They can be, oh, it can be horrible. But you could vote them in. Four slots left for the Dozen Trivia League Season 4. That's October, the play-in tournament. The full season begins in November. But right now, this week, we crown our individual champion. Thank you, as always, for watching. Play trivia every day at DailyDozenTrivia.com. Like, subscribe, and enjoy. Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred McGriff? <laughs> Jesus, how in the hell? The Hungers yeah. are your champions. Unbelievable. You don't even know California. <laughs> He's correct. 14-13. Yeah, the movie's called Get Fucked. <laughs> hey, Jack. Yeah. Champions of the dozen. <laughs> Holy shit. Of Town Holy shit. All right, it's the dozen 1v1 Battle Royale final four. Four people remain. Brandon Walker, mm -hmm. the three seed. KB, the 15 seed. It's the experts against the Frankettes, uh, two of the oldest teams in the dozen. Uh, the experts have two final four participants. Uh, and the Frankettes have two final four participants. Frank and KB. The experts have Brandon and Fran. Fran knocked out the third Frank at in a great battle the other night. Uh, Brandon, mm -hmm. winner takes on Frank or Fran. I'll, I'll let you go first. How are we feeling? All right. So, so often I can come on here and spew a lot of vitriol towards my opponent because I truly do hate most of the people that work <laughs> for this godforsaken company. I've never had any beef whatsoever with KB, so I think this is just going to be a friendly and, on, on my end. I don't know if he'll turn on me during the show. Nah, Brandon, I want to go tit for tat. I want to bang out <laughs> right answers with you. I want to go – I hope the game never ends. All right, perfect score. We're going for a perfect score then. Let's there, do it. We have avoided overtime this entire tournament. Um, I still don't know exactly what we would do. Some matchups, it's very obvious. Yeah. Roan against Chief would have been Blackhawk stuff versus Eagle stuff. This one, I don't know. <laughs> this oh, this yeah. one – this one, I don't know. Um, it's, it's the real question, Mark. Um, so I guess let's do this. Uh, they both picked eight in each categories. Uh, four of them will be regular difficulty. Four of them will be harder difficulty. It will be regular first, then harder. And then, yes, we did change the tournament, as you heard Kirk talking about last night. We did change the tournament mid-tournament. Uh, yeah. Fans wanted four categories. They wanted – the fans kept saying, they're like, we want to be able to play along at home. We don't know these niches. Okay. So we tossed in four standard dozen categories. The, the players do get to pick those, though. They can better line them up. Brandon actually changed one from last time. Uh, my guess is, in hindsight, Kirk might have gone music. Um, though man, Frank was so good, I, I just don't know. Um, so here we go. Brandon, uh, excuse me, KB, you're, you're eight in each categories. Uh, the four in the regular difficulty will be college wrestling, Pennsylvania public school districts, uh, junior college or California Community College Athletic Association uh, sports nicknames. Uh, and world capitals. Your harder niche difficulty will be Olympic cities, West Virginia counties, Division One college cities, and, and football bowl subdivision stadium names. Um, and then your four standard uh, dozen categories: you pick music, flags of the world, snacks and candy, and geography. Brandon, mm -hmm. one change to yours. Not in your niche though. WWF, WCW, SEC basketball, and scrubs will be your four. Uh, regular difficulty niche questions. Your four harder will be Cosby Show, Major League, that thing you do in SEC football, and then your standard dozen music replaces Major League Baseball, followed by movies, television, and college football. Let's do this. You can double up one category per level, one in the regular difficulty, one in the harder, one in the standard dozen categories. Here we go. Yep. 
KB, you're up first. College wrestling is going to be the first thing off the board. All right. Here we go. This is for KB. For you, I assume you're not going to double. No. College wrestling, 30 seconds plus a five second countdown. Here you go, KB. Jimmy Sheptock was uh, wrestled for what school, falling to Penn State legend Ed Ruth in his senior season and the 184 NCAA championships. Maryland. Final answer. Yes. That is correct. One nothing KB. Terrapin. Brandon yes. WWF. Um, yes, I will single this. Singled up. No double for Brandon. Here yep. is your question to make it one to one. Who did Bret Hart defeat by submission in an inter- intercontinental title match at SummerSlam 91 to win his first singles title in the WWF? That is uh, one of my favorite matches of all time. It is Mr. Perfect Kurt Hennig. Final answer. Mm. There we go. Tit for tat off the top. One to one. Tit for tit. tit for- uh, Pennsylvania Public School Districts. Ooh, no, no tits KB. here. <laughs> <laughs> Just tax. Just... <laughs> Ugly tat. <laughs> Horrible tats. I've seen these boys in their singlets. <laughs> uh, here it is to make it two to one. Conestoga Valley, Ephrata, Mannheim Township, and Penn Manor School Districts all reside in what Pennsylvania county? Uh, I wish the big man was here. It's Lancaster. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Amish country indeed. It's Lancaster County, two to one. No, 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 no. He, he, the big man was very clear. That is not yeah. Amish country. True. <laughs> not Amish it, country. It is. Not, Amish, the, not Amish country, just the largest population of Amish yeah. people. In, in the right. world. <laughs> By far. <laughs> yeah, it's not even. It's, it's there's a dynasty. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. To make it two to two, WCW, Brandon. Single. Singled up WCW. This is for Brandon. Make it two to two. Who beat Hollywood Hogan on Nitro to become a two-time WCW heavyweight champ, only to drop the title back to Hogan at Road Wild 97? Lex Luger, final answer. That is correct. Two to two. Perfect so far. Uh, Junior colleges. Uh, We've been in California the last couple times. Changing up. KB, I see you're in a double world capitals, right? Yeah. Can I I just... Stop the proceedings right here and talk to KB for a second. How did you come to know junior college and college nicknames from California? <laughs> uh, Asperger's. Okay, all right. All right, continue. Sorry. The best is there are plenty of Division One college nicknames that he also knows, but he just well, decided. To- <laughs> well, JUCO has, has more fun with it, which they're yeah. easier to remember. Um, all right, here we go. We were in California last time. We're moving to the state of Texas for this next one. Uh, here is your question. Blinn College, once the program at which Cam Newton played quarterback prior to Auburn, has what sports nickname? Oh, the, the Blinn Buccaneers almost lost it, reeled it in. <laughs> Final. Final answer. <laughs> yeah. Almost lost it. Where, 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 where did it go? <laughs> where did it almost go? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I almost didn't know it, but of course I did. It's Blinn. <laughs> uh, SEC hoops to make it three to three. All right. I assume you're in a double scrubs? I assume correctly, yes. Okay, here we or go. Or you assume correctly. Scrubs. Or SEC basketball. Kennedy Winston led the SEC in points per game as a junior playing for this school in 2004-2005. And Un- declares the M- University of Alabama, Jeff. Final answer. I can hear you want to answer it. There you go. It's 3-3. Three yeah. three. Doubled up. Next side for both of you. The last in the regular difficulty in each category. Both World of you. Capitals. Both of you. World Capitals for two points. For two points. Here we go. Two European capitals start with the letter T. Tallinn in Estonia and this city in a country located to the northwest of Greece. It's Tirana. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> Final answer? Yeah. I did not realize. Th- this was a very Jeff Nadeau big man on campus. Oh, thing. yeah. Albania. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize <laughs> in Albania. I didn't even put that together until just now. <laughs> yeah, he would have perfect scored this. <laughs> God, he would have ripped. All right, five to three. Brandon, you can tie it up. This will be the first time I believe both. No, I think. 
Yeah, I think it's the first time we've had somebody five to five after four. If you Brandon, do you well. have a weakness? Yeah, um, we we passed them already, but oh, I think no. Scrubs is Scrubs is my biggest chance at a miss. Actually, here we go to make it okay. five to five. In season five, episode ten, JD gets in annoyed when his girlfriend Julie, played by Mandy Moore, says what instead of laughing. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so Final funny, answer. Jeff. Final, Final answer. answer. Five to five. Two doubles off the board. Brandon and KB are knotted up. They're perfect and the so way, far. The, the way they try to immerse, they do immersion therapy, and the way they try to make her laugh is by playing a DVD of Uncle Buck. <laughs> it's, it's a very good show. <laughs> Olympic cities, Kyle, double or not? Uh, not. No double for KB. Olympic cities, here's your question. This is the harder difficulty for now. Originally supposed to host in 1940, the first non-European or North American Winter Olympics host was this Asian city in the 1970s. Winter, uh, Sapporo, Japan. Final answer? <laughs> yes. There's a big... A, a big just disappointed uh, shaking of the head from Brandon there. It is six to five. Nah. Back over to Brandon. Cosby show. Will you double? You missed the first time ever last time, but you yeah. were kind of 50 50 on it. I will. In fact, double. Yes. Doubled up to make it seven to six. Temporarily. KB would still have his double remaining. This is the Cosby show to make it seven to six in season two, episode 23. What is the name? What is the card game Cliff plays against his father and his father's friend who usually win by cheating? Card game is Pinochle. Final answer. It is Pinochle. Seven to six. Brandon with the lead. There KB we go. Does, does have his double remaining here. <laughs> uh, West Virginia counties, will you be doubling this? Um, you have college cities and FBS did Brand, Brandon this. double yet? He did, he did. So you still have yours for these last oh. three. You have this. If you don't do this, it's either Division One College Cities or FBS Stadium name. Uh, I'll I'll uh, double this. Doubled up West Virginia <laughs> counties to make it eight to seven. Here's your question, KB. <laughs> Founded in 1788, Greenbrier is home to cities such as White Sulphur Springs and Ron Servette, but this city acts as its county seat. Um, Lewisburg. Final answer? Yeah. Eight to seven. Successful double for KB. Brandon I thought that one almost got away from you, too. <laughs> See, you a hard think on that one. Well, this, Lewisburg was also, I was thinking PA, like school districts, and my mind yeah. is going crazy. Uh, the timer's collecting dust here. Uh, back over to uh, Brandon. Major League to make it eight to eight. Make it eight to eight. What pitch does Harry Doyle say Harris throws for the final out of Cleveland's win before Jake follows Lynn with the bullpen car? Doesn't fit on here, but it is a win over the Tigers. Mm. Eddie Harris win. It couldn't fit in the graphic. I don't know if that matters at all, though. Fifteen seconds. Fuck! Oh, don't do this. Pull it no. out. I know what it, what the idea is. It's like a spitball. I don't know if he calls it the spitball uh, or the shine ball. Four. Shine ball. Final answer. First miss. It's Vaseline ball. Vaseline. Uh, he, he had the idea. Uh, yeah, you were in the ballpark. Uh, Division one college cities. KB up by one. Division one college cities. In what city is Idaho State located? I fucking always say this wrong. Pocatello? Pocatello. Final? Yeah. Nine to seven. Pocatello, Pocatello. Someone let us know in the comments below. Uh, Idaho State Bengals. Um, Brandon, that thing you do to make it nine to eight. Yeah. What is it? Okay. When Filch first tries to sign the band, he mentions booking them shows in Youngstown, Pittsburgh, and what third city? Steubenville. Final what? Answer. Yeah. <laughs> Nine to eight. I have, a he- I have a heavy presence in all three of these cities. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nine to eight. FBS stadium names. KB can go perfect in the niche if he gets this to make it ten to eight. Nickname The Rock. What is the official name of the stadium where Appalachian State plays football? Kid Brewer. Motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) Ten to eight. (laughs) Uh, Now to Brandon to make it ten to nine. KB goes perfect. Here we go. SEC football. Fuck. We'll be down one, Brandon, with four categories remaining. Here's your question. This Auburn running back with 2,800 career yards led the SEC in rushing touchdowns in 1994, one year after James Bostick also did so with the Tigers. KB starting to pull away. You got time. Yeah. Give up. You pulled this out with. Yeah, shut up. Your- <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Four, no guess. I have no three, guess. Three, nothing. It is Washington and Carolina legend Stephen Davis. Stephen Davis. Music for both sides now. Both oh. sides have music. You have one double left each. There are five points remaining for each. Two point lead for KB. Music for KB. Do you want a double? No. What is the title of this remix 2012 song by Cedric Gervais that hit the Billboard year-end Hot 100 list in 2013? You're going to hear the song. Now you can hear up to four times. I got my red dress on tonight. Summertime Sadness. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. 11 to 8. KB has hit 9. 9 for 9. Brandon, music on the side. Do you want a double? No. Peaking as high as 23rd on the Billboard Hot 100. What is the title of this 1994 song? That was good. I'm just once I once I missed that first one, it was over. Was the heart bring you back? Oh, <laughs> oh shit, my Shazam just picked it up. Five, <laughs> four, uh, three. Congratulations, Kyle. Oh, uh, crash. It's not it. No. It's hook. It's hook. Three point lead. Flags of the world. KB, will you be doubling here? Knock me out here. Great. <laughs> I'm not confident with snacks and candy. Um, if you double here and you get it, you do win. You move on to the championship. No, nah, I'm not doubling. No double for KB. No double. Actually, f- yes. All right, yes. he's going to double. <laughs> Flags of the world for the win. KB. What African nation uses this flag? Burundi. Book it. <laughs> Book it. Answer. That is yeah. 10 for 10. A perfect game for KB. He moves on 13 to 8. I mean, Brandon, Brandon <laughs> he missed a couple, but Brandon played great. But it was it was Vaseline ball. I could tell you were, yeah. you were knocked out. Yep, that was it. I mean, the guy went perfect. I'm just so <laughs> it, fucking happy that I don't have to lose in the championship like every other time. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, uh, congratulations. The, the better man won. KB, who do you want? Frank? I want Frank? Frank's head on a sequoia tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it would take. <laughs> um, Brandon played well, beat the doors of basically everyone. I'd said this about most everyone is you found a new niche for the dozen. You haven't. You were going to use the same ones. <laughs> you're, you're really good at the ones you're really good at. Yeah. Uh, just, just got tripped up a little bit there. Vaseline ball, but KB again went perfect. Uh, snacks and geography once again remain on the board for KB. Um, that's it. You're about to see Fran against Frank. Winner takes on KB. 
and we crown our first ever individual champion and winner of the Dozen Trivia 1v1 Battle Royale. Stay tuned. Next match coming up right now. All right, the Dozen 1v1 Battle Royale rolls on the second Final Four matchup. You just saw the Frank Getz take on the experts. You're about to see it happen again. Uh, KB into the Final Four went perfect against Brandon. Uh, it's actually it was nine. He went nine for nine. I'm telling Fran, no, he went 10 for 10. So we went 10 for 10. Uh, Flags of the world to end it. Won 13 to eight. Uh, the best performance so far in this thing. So one person is through to the championship. It is KB. And now it's another experts in Frank Getz battle. Fran, Frank, Fran, how you feeling? Brandon goes down. Tough. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's going to be, I don't really have super high hopes for myself in this, uh, in this situation. Um, and you know, that is an unfortunate exit for the experts. Once again, <laughs> if that's, if, he, I think yeah. he was happy to not lose in the finals though. Brandon said like, at least it was in the finals. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Well, I'm very happy to be in this position. I'm I, I'm excited for this match. I'm excited I made it this far. You know, when the rankings came out, everybody was like, Fra- Fran seated way too high. <laughs> well, she's an early exit, all these things. She's good at one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, at least I made it this far. You also, I think you have your, maybe your best performance with the standard dozen, too. That was a thing. It's like we make the switch, and it's even more like yep. a dozen, and you're there. Uh, so in the final four, Frank, other side. KB said he wants a PCU. Do you feel any pressure or, or is it still, you still the underdog? Wait, you're, I think you're muted. No, I can't hear you. All right. We've been doing, we've been doing this for three years. Frank's never had a microphone issue one time. Microphone issue, head cold. Frank, you're what's going on? You're, you're, you're playing against the elements I today. Know. Now I don't even see anything uh, over here on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> no. He exit out on. Oh, wait a second. He's there. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, chaos. Um, <laughs> Frank, you have to overcome a lot now. Uh, tech issues. Head, head cold. cold. Technology. Fucking me. <laughs> this this would be the ultimate arc if you can pull this off. Otherwise, if not, Fran against KB in the finals. Someone's going to win. Eight niche categories per person. As we've done the entire tournament, except uh, this past round, we switched over to eight in each category plus four standard dozen categories as well. Uh, you were someone who wanted to play along a little more. We tried to give you that option. Uh, so here we go. F- uh, Frank's eight niche categories. The full regular difficulty will be uh, hot dog, uh, hot dog geography, Magnum PI, New York Mets Jersey math, the Empire Strikes Back. And then the harder difficulty will be sports champions, big four sports mascots, New York Mets and Seinfeld. After that, U.S. history, television, the NHL, Major League Baseball. Those will be the standard dozen categories. Fran, your full regular difficulty niche. Nothing has changed here. Prisoner of Azkaban, Lizzie McGuire movie, The Bachelor, High School Musical. The harder difficulty niche categories will be romantic comedies, Jonas Brothers Celebrity Mashup, One Tree Hill, and then your standard dozen categories will be movies, brand logos, celebrity mashup, and television. Winner moves on to take on KB. Either all Frank Getz or Frank Getz and experts yet again in the final, and we will crown our champion tomorrow. Here we go. Frank, you're going to be up first. You're going to be up first. Hot dog geography for one point. Here we go. With fresh cut fries, in what Florida city did Frank review dog et al. Rating their raw dog, footlong dog, and jumbo footlong all doubles? The Florida Tallahassee. city. Fine, final answer? Yes. <laughs> that is correct. One to nothing, Frank. That was one that Doug's told me about. There used to be a commercial with a guy who was shaking the hot dog like this at the camera. <laughs> the doubles are not bad there. You give it a lot of doubles. Not a lot of, not a lot of homers. It's hard to get. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban for, for Fran. Uh, here we go. Prisoner of Azkaban for Fran. I assume no double? No. Here we go. What is the name of the broomstick that Sirius gives to Harry at the end of the film? 
He gives him a firebolt final answer. That is correct. One to one. Each get their first question. One point. Now, do each. we have to double in each? Yep, each plane? section. Yep. Just like the other night against Kirk, you do have to double either Ma- uh, Magnum PI, Mets Jersey Math, or The Empire Strikes Back. Do you want to double Magnum PI again? You did last time. I'm going to double Magnum PI again. Magnum PI, second straight match. You will double. Here we go. This is for two points to make it three to one, Frank. In season four, episode 12, while using explosives to try and rid the lawn of mongooses, Higgins gets struck in the head by what object? A croquet ball. Final answer? Yes. You have to mimic it himself. That is correct. <laughs> Three to one. Three to one. Went through the actions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for Magnum P.I. to Lizzie McGuire. Two points for yeah. Frank. That was his double for this section of four categories. Friend, do you want to double Lizzie McGuire? Yes or no? Uh, no. Here we go. Lizzie McGuire for one point. Finish these What Dreams Are Made Of lyrics. Have you ever seen such a beautiful night? I can almost kiss the stars for shining so bright. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. One point for Fran. She's not used her double yet, though. Frank, for one point, New York Mets Jersey math math moved on. Actually, even though you missed this one last time. Here we go to make it four to one. What is the total number of these three Mets jerseys combined? Randy Myers, Dick Schofield and Bobby Jones. 35 seconds. Oh, boy. Dick Schofield. Fuck. All right. 78. What number does that motherfucker wear? Oh, I don't remember Dick Schofield on the Mets uh, that well. Uh, uh, I'm going to go 79. 87, 87, did miss it last time and still moved on, though. Here we go. Fran, uh, Fran The Bachelor, do you want to double? I, I will double The Bachelor. Bachelor doubled up to make it 3-3, three to three, Fran. A top seven finisher from Clayton season. This woman had an ongoing feud with classmate uh, Shanae, culminating, castmate Shanae, and culminating in a two-on-one date. Oh, boy. Twenty seconds for two points. Um, no, oh, I should have doubled Lizzie McGuire. That was stupid. I literally rewatched it. Um, okay, I'm going to say Genevieve. Final answer. That is correct. Three to three. Fran pulls that one out. We're tied up. I misspoke. She doubled that one. Four to three. Fran slight edge. Frank has only missed one. Empire Strikes Back for Frank to make it four to four. What is the name of the bat-like species that attaches itself to the Millennium Falcon when the heroes are inside the Exegor's mouth? Wombats. Say it again. Wombats. Final answer? Yes. That's like an actual animal. It's my knock. My knock. Fuck! My, <laughs> you said wombat. That is a, a, real, a, real, a real animal. Uh, four, to, four to three. Four to three. Fran has a chance to take a two-point lead after this slate of four categories. The regular difficulty niche category around them. High School Musical is the next category. Fran, yeah. here we go. During the first day of school back from holiday, Ms. Darvis gives Tony, Gabriella, Sharpay, and Ryan detention for doing what in her class? Troy. I can't believe you just called him Tony. Did I call him Tony? I'm very, I am <laughs> terribly dyslexic, to be fair. <laughs> that is, I mean, that is like, I can't read it. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Tony. Very Tony funny. Bolton. Yeah. Let's just try Tony. Troy, Gabriella, sorry. Need an answer in five, Ugh. four. Ta- like uh, they're on their phones. Final answer. That is correct. Five to three. <laughs> Frank <laughs> beside himself. A lot I'm of dead. points left. I'm dead. I am dead. <laughs> no, 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 we're not. No, we're not. Frank, none of that. <laughs> no, none we're not that. doing that. There's too many points left. Way too many. Too many sports many champions. You want to double sports champions? Stage. Yes. On my end. Frank to make <laughs> to make it five to five. Frank. Here we go, sports champion. Uh, and uh, Jeff, I have a bone to pick for you. Oh, what? What now? 
regular difficulty, a player that played less than half a season with the Mets should not have his number as a regular difficulty. That should have been a major difficulty. Dick Schofield probably played less than 50 games for the Mets. All right. It's a noted, noted comment. Um, noted. Here we go, though. You're not out of this yet, Frank. Here we go. Sports champions for two points. The season Tom Brady first lost to Super Bowl. What three teams won the World Series, NBA Finals, and Stanley Cup? All right. That'd be uh, 2007. All right. Red Sox, Spurs. All right. That would be the, uh, the uh, Red Sox, the uh, San Antonio Spurs, and the Anaheim Ducks. Impressive as always, Frank. Five to five. Two points for Frank. He's successful on the double yet again. Tied up temporarily. France loves her double here. Uh, romantic comedies. Hard difficulty. Here we go. Fran, to make a six to five ball game, here is your question. 2012 romantic rom com spy film. Tom Hardy and Chris Pine both realize they're dating the same woman, played by Reese Witherspoon. This means war. Final answer. That is correct. Six to five. Fran, with the one-point lead, still has her double remaining in this category. Here we go. Back over to Frank. Big four sports mascots. You're going to see the picture of a big four sports mascot. You're going to tell me the name of the mascot. Name of the mascot. To make it six to six, Frank. Lucille. Final answer. <laughs> Yes. That is correct. Lou Seal, six to six. Next category is going to be Jonas Brothers for Fran. Jonas Brothers. Here we go. No double, Fran? Nope. To make it seven to six, Fran, here we go. Pretty standard for the hard difficulty round. You're going to be naming the lyrics here. Here's your question. Play it again, please. Knowing that I am to blame, believe it. For leaving your heart out in the rain, final answer. That is correct. Seven to six, Fran. Has not missed yet. Here we go. Frank, New York Mets. New York Mets. This would make it seven to seven again. With games logged at th third base, shortstop, and left field, who led the Met 1986 Mets with 20 errors despite playing in only 88 regular season games? Uh, Kevin Mitchell. Is that your final? Yes. Howard Johnson. Howard Johnson. Fuck! Howard Johnson. I did not know Howard Johnson got out to left field that year. Seven to six. Fran, okay. celebrity mashup, mashup. Do you want a double? Uh, yes. To make it nine to seven. Still a lot of points left. Here we go. This is for Fran to make it nine to seven. Six. Nine to six. I can't add. It's a mess over here today. Here we go. <laughs> Name me three celebrities mashed up in this photo for two points. Got uh, Patrick Dempsey, Adam Sandler, and Jennifer Aniston. Final answer. That is correct. Patrick Dempsey, Adam Sandler, Jennifer Aniston. Two points for Fran. She's up by three. Last of the hard difficulty round. Seinfeld for Frank to make it nine to seven. To make it nine to seven. Frank, here is your Seinfeld question. In season six, Jerry deduces Newman brought fleas into his home after Elaine finds what brand of candy bar wrappers under her couch? Chunky. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. Nine to seven. Chunky. Back over to Fran. Fran to enter the regular dozen round with a three-point lead. Here we go. In the season one finale, Brooke and Peyton execute a plan to trick Nikki into thinking Jake and Jenny are hiding in what West Coast city?
Seattle, final answer. That is correct. Fran goes perfect in the niche category section. Three-point lead, five points remaining for each person. Here we go. Frank, U.S. history is your next question. U.S. history, here it is. In 1989, the U.S. FDA banned imports of fruit from what South American country after cyanide was allegedly found in two grapes? That is a very difficult question. Cyanide found in what grapes? Uh, chili. Final answer? They're final? Yes. That is correct. Seven, ten to eight. Frank gets chili. That's a big one. Fran, to make it 11 to eight. I assume you're not going to double movies. No. Movies. Who received the Best Actor nomination for their role as mathematician Alan Turing in the 2014 film The Imitation Game? This is, it's not uh, Eddie, it's not Eddie Redmayne, it's the other guy. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, final answer. That is correct, 11 to 8, three point lead, four points remaining for both. Frank, TV, do you want a double TV? No. Television for Frank for one point to make it 11 to 9. Originally a Jake and the Fat Man spinoff, this Dick Van Dyke-led series had multiple TV movies and eight seasons on CBS from 1993 through 2001. Diagnosis murder. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. 11 to 9. Brand logos next up for Fran to make it 12 to 9. If you get this, it's Dormy. You can't lose in regulation. Here we go. This is for Fran to make it 12 to 9. Would match KB too with most questions in a row. Brand logos for Fran. Name the two brand logos on portions of name the two brands based on portions of their logos. Uh, ooh. I don't they're two separate one is two separate it? logos, yep. Yeah. I think this is wrong. Kellogg's and Sonic, final answer. Kleenex and Cadbury. Kleenex I, and uh, Cadbury. Uh, Kleenex and uh, Kleenex. I mean these are some Kleenex and I had some Cadbury cream makers left over from uh. Easter. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's eleven to nine. Fran misses for the first time. Two point lead, Frank. You can make this. A one-point game here. If you get this, NHL, you could also double. Do you want to double? I'm doubling NHL. Doubling NHL. This would tie the game temporarily. Fran would then have mashup to win the game. Here we go. After losing to Winnipeg in round one the year before, this Smythe Division team won the President's Trophy in 1987-1988. To stay alive. The Calgary Flames. Final answer? Yes. 11-11, we're knotted up. It comes down to this. Fran, if you get Celebrity Mashup. It's over. She's she's true. She's not missed since July of 2021. That is true, but we'll see. Would be be timely. What a timely timely mess up. Uh, Uh, All right, yeah. I still have one. Dick Schofield. (laughs) I know, I know. I know, Frank. (laughs) Dick Schofield was, was traded. In May, never even played a full season with the Mets. We lost the Kirk fans last match. We'll lose the Frank fans now if you lose. Here we go. Fran for the win. Name the two celebrities mashed up in this photo for the win. Oh, no. I always... It'd be quite the time to lose the streak. Oh, no. Daisy Ridley and Robert Pattinson. Final, Final answer. answer. Yes, that is correct. Fran moves on. And uh, you know, Jeff, the Star Wars shit uh, gets I mean, me every time. I'm my immediate reaction is always Felicity Jones, yep. and I'm like, that's not Felicity Jones. Close though, close. Fran. Yes, I get them confused. Frank, I, you're going to take issue with Dick Schofield, though. I will say she did get that. It's thirteen eleven. 
between that Howard Johnson and then the one you missed was my knock. You did say wombat though. You tech you did that was a tough slip up, right? Yeah, it was a tough slip up. <laughs> I, I, I always well, you gotta let's bats. let's let's try to be positive, Frank. Let's try to be positive. This is a uh, but, pretty good. Well, you need Kathy always at the right wrong time. <laughs> Dick Schofield, someone who's the pitcher does not appear in a Met yearbook. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I'll take that one on the chin, Frank. It's the pre. But you got to feel better going into this season. Come on, you got to. There's, there's. You had a you. You guys bowed out to the champions in overtime. Like you played a, You played your best match of the season. You came in here. You beat the breaks off a bunch of people. You beat the champion. You got to feel. You got to feel good, right? Heading into the season. I mean, duh, duh, Dick. Sco- I, I, I just really wish it was Dick Schofield and. And uh, the the the, the eighty six one there between Mitchell and Hojo that was another one of those double dip ones. It was either going to be Mitchell or Hojo. Well, they won't be as hard as I that. Don't remember, I don't remember Hojo ever playing a game in left field in eighty six. Sports champions, while it does have an ability to run out at some point, that's going to have to be a niche. Same with Seinfeld. Yeah, uh, sports champions P. has to do. He has or Mag or Matt or Magnum Pi. It could be an all oh, Frank niche all year. The Frankettes have an absolute. Well, role you never use my game. niche. You always, it's, it's always, it's Pokemon. That's your captain's call. That's Nick. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't choose your niche. Nick, Nick and KB do. <laughs> well, they got to use my niches sometimes. <laughs> All right. I, I, I'll put, I'll, I'll drop the yeah, hammers. I, my niece was used twice last year. Get it to put in a request <laughs> with the coach. Uh, Frank. Bows out, 24 seed, makes a final four. Still a great run, Frank. Fran against KB. Fran, you can't miss. That that's that's the strategy. It's just uh, yeah, I mean the two arguably the you know, we're the weir- weirdest, some of the weirdest people when we the things we the like that we <laughs> like. Like I have a major like 2010 fan core vibe. <laughs> just like Yeah, you know, she, she was tough to beat. She, was, uh, she didn't miss anything, but Someone this has great, to play great Jersey final four. Question. Jersey Maft has to play in a, a full <laughs> Okay, season. okay. All right. That's noted. Noted. That's noted. I will say, Jeff, I do wish it was Brandon. I, I, I wish it was Brandon. That would have really been one for the ages. We would have been going into the into the season with with quite a team <laughs> dynamic. He I don't know if Brandon was worried about losing to you, but I do know he there was almost a sense of relief that he bowed out I'm when he sure. did. I'm sure he would not. Have I, don't, I don't think he wanted to meet me in the final. I think he was okay with losing to KB. I don't think he was okay with losing to either yeah. of you. That's, <laughs> I don't yeah, think it was fair. Frank or you, Fran. Yeah. Very fair. Um, tomorrow night, Fran against KB, the championship. Then we're off for a week. We're going to be filming our uh, playing tournament, the likes of Chicago, now joined by Kelly Keegs. Um, there's a bunch of other teams that you know from last year. Macrodosing the Misfits, Marty Mush's team has, has Joey Chestnut on it. Uh, it's a it's a real wacky group of teams looking to join the Frankettes, the Experts, ZD, all Minahan, Honkers, all the other teams you know and love from last year that you voted in. That's it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Championship Fran against KB. Yeah.